Submarines are one of the coolest parts of Subnautica, but sadly there's very few in the game. Even submarine mods are extremely rare, and usually they're pretty small. But that is about to change. Introducing the SEAL Submarine. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Hey there, I'm Aki and I'm really excited to show off the newest addition to submarine mods on Subnautica, the SEAL submarine. This mod is made by the SEAL team. Yeah, I, I don't know what that stands for, but I like it. And it adds this SEAL submarine. Believably incredible thermonuclear compartmentalized hull. You don't want to know how many takes it took me to read that out. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what beat k Oh. Never mind. Trying to get me demonetized, huh? <laughs> okay, but let's go take a look at what it actually looks like. And, oh my god, it is massive. And here it is in all of its glory. It is so much bigger than a Seamoth or Cyclops even. So, that's going to be really interesting to take a look at. But first of all, let's see what it looks like from the inside. I assume the hatch is on the top right here. Yup, what are you? Oh, I assume that's the camera. Okay, let's board the seal. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems are Ooh, custom voice. I like it. Okay, yeah, this is massive. So all the way at the front here is where we actually steer the seal. And it looks like we have a second story to check out. But first, I really want to know what this feels like to use. Engine powering up. Ooh, okay, that sounded really cool. I like it. I'm hyped. Oh my god, that is loud. Jesus. We do have all of our standard cameras. And yes, this was the camera. And we can even jump like a seal. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's go check out what we actually have in the submarine. So there's a lot of buildable space. So I assume you could put a ton of lockers here if you wanted to have like a massive storage. Yeah, definitely. This is basically just a live-in submarine. You can build your entire base in the submarine and not lack anything. Now behind where we came in, there's the engine room. And you can see this thing is powered by 10 power cells, which is gonna last you a while, but I have a feeling this also drains a lot of power. So if you don't want to keep recharging your power cells at your base, you can literally just build a nuclear reactor in your submarine. Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of a nuclear submarine. This is such a cool concept, I love it. And this works just like a nuclear reactor in your base. You just put in reactor rods and it works. Now in case you don't want to handle nuclear material, you can also just use a bioreactor and put some fish in there to power your submarine. Ironic, isn't it? Now in case you don't care about power, but want to have something flashy to look at, you can even take an alien containment and place it in here. Now before the submarine freaked out and like flew out of the water, but I think we're fine. Now I'm just cu- oh. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, this is kind of cool. So this is like using those precursor door technology things that just keep out water. And you don't need to build a hatch, you can literally just jump inside. Okay, that is really cool. I love that. Okay, this is something I just thought of while editing. What happens if you put fish in? Do they just flop out the side? <laughs> I, I don't know if I'd want a leaky aquarium in my submarine. Now up here on the second floor, there's another one of these. And I'm wondering if we can build a second alien containment. So we can actually get a two-story one. Oh, it doesn't look like we can. Okay, can we build a nuclear reactor? Okay, you also can't. Is this top space just not buildable? It looks like you can only build in one of these two spots, which is a shame. But I mean, understandable, honestly. But yeah, as you can see, there's so much room in this submarine. I don't think 
you would have trouble fitting every single building piece in the entire game in the submarine. This top room is also really cool. You could turn it into a research lab or into an outdoors area with a bunch of trees and food growing here. Or just making it a cozy lounge area with your bed in the other corner. Now the one thing I'm curious is, can we build windows? No, that is a huge missed opportunity, but I get why. That, that probably would take a lot of effort. Now last but not least, let's check out the docking bay. Because yes, of course, this submarine has a docking bay. As you can see, it says ready to dock, and there's another one of these precursor moon pools, which you can just jump out of. This is so cool, I wish more stuff would make use of this technology. That That is so cool. Like, look at that! Ah, I love it! Alright, who is ready to ram the seamoth into the seal? I'm, I'm probably gonna screw something up, but let's go. And here we go! That was way smoother than I expected. What? Oh my god. We are being held in the air with energy. That is that is so cool. Also saves a lot of time for the animation department for those like arms grabbing your submarine in every other docking station. <laughs> I like that. That's really cool. And we can just like... Oh my god, what just happened? Let me try that again. Seamoth docked. And if I want to leave, I just... Oh, you get full on ejected. Okay, that's kind of cool. So this mod is sadly not available to the public yet, but it will be, according to the developers, sometime next year. So you can be on the lookout for that. If you want to get updated on this mod, you can join their Discord server. The link is in the description down below. But now let's go mess around with it. I think I broke it. Guys, what the hell? Where'd... <laughs> what? Huh? What happened to my steering wheel? Um, I, I, I already broke it. I'm great at that. Yeah, okay, so it looks like if you save and load a game when using this mod, uh, your submarine is just not steerable anymore. So, uh, time to make a new save. Oh my god, yep, that's what I was talking about. It really does not like that aquarium there. Again, am I, am I just... How am I supposed to pilot the submarine? Am I doing something wrong? I think I might be doing something wrong. I think I am the only person who's managed to permanently break this mod. I, I started like three new saves now and it, it it's just not possible. Well, uh, time to reinstall. <laughs> Woo! There we go! Okay. <laughs> I love how I managed to break literally everything. Now let's get testing. So this submarine's crush depth is 800 meters. Let's see what happens if we go below it. I have tried to stay on a head flank to get the engine to overheat, but that just doesn't happen with the submarine. So I guess we're going to have to go deep to find out what it looks like when it floods or burns or whatever this does. In the meantime, we can also check if Reapers are interested in it. There's the Reaper. Oh my god. Yeah, the Reaper is definitely interested. Uh, sorry, sir. You can't dock here. You can't park there, sir. Huh? I'm not sure if it can actually do anything to the submarine. I am in creative mode right now, so I should probably test that. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Mr. Reaper, would you like to take a nibble? Oh boy. Yep, he definitely likes us. And he is damaging the submarine, so this is a way easier way to find out what happens if we lose our health. Let's just let the Reaper nibble at us for a bit. I don't think there's anything we can do. So while the Reaper enjoys his meal, Let's take a look at the upgrade modules. Because yes, there are two of these here where we can access the upgrades, but I have not managed to find out where we're supposed to get these upgrades from. In case you're wondering, no, this is not functional. That's not where you craft upgrades. And that is terrifying. Caution. Uh, that is a site I didn't think I'd see. Anyways, um, if we take a look at the modification station, Right. If we take a look at the modification station, there's only Cyclops and Seamoth and Prawn suit upgrades here. If we take the Cyclops module, we are not able to actually put it in the upgrades menu over here. So I'm not sure if I'm missing something, if there's somewhere where you can actually craft these modules. If so, I have not found it. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, don't do that! My god! 
Guess we found one disadvantage to a massive open hole in your submarine. Okay, hull integrity is critical. Let's see what happens if we actually go down. It does look like to me that we are basically dead. So I feel like just one more hit and we should see what happens. Oh, there he, there he is. Oh, I can't move. Is that it? Okay, so the lights went out. Um, can I still build in here? I can. That is really weird. Oh, wait, I'm losing oxygen. Okay, so I think the submarine died. They just haven't gotten around to making a cool animation for it yet or something. Because yes, of course, keep in mind, this is still early access and a lot of stuff isn't going to be finished. Wait, did we just run out of power? I think we might have just ran out of power, actually. Let me see if I can fix this with a nuclear reactor. <laughs> so yes, all the power cells were empty. It sounded like it worked. Can we get back to the helm and start moving again? We can! Okay, so we actually just ran out of power. So yeah, I'm unsure what exactly happened here. The lights are still out, so I think we are actually just dead and there's no animation program for it yet. Which is a shame, but understandable. Instead, I've made this high quality animation for you to see what it could look like when the submarine goes down. Yeah, very proud of that one. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Let's see if we can still duck the Seamoth here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Some systems need attention. Yep, the Seamoth also still works. And you think some systems need attention, huh? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Everything's completely fine. So I wonder, can we repair this submarine? Let's try. What I love about this mod is that it shows what mods are capable of if you put your mind to it. So I am hoping we get some more cool mods like these, because this is honestly really cool to see. Is this something I can repair or is this just... No, okay. This definitely makes me hopeful for the future of Subnautica mods. I mean, if we can do this, then we can definitely get Return of the Ancients up and running. Here we go. Let's see how our health is looking. Nope, we're still dead. Okay, so yeah, this submarine is definitely dead. Yeah, it doesn't look particularly alive in the water either. It definitely needs some better defenses against that because, I mean, the Reaper killed us even though we were here just like a minute. So I got curious, like, there might be some hidden rooms over here somewhere, so I'm just free coming around the submarine. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any, like, hidden rooms from what I can see. There's a lot of unused space down here. What is this? Oh, it's a vent. Okay. And then we have... <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? Well, hello there. Who are you? That is adorable. I kind of want that as a plushie. <laughs> okay, so there are some Easter eggs. But that's the sealed submarine. Again, you can get your hands on it sometime next year. Make sure to join the devs Discord server in the description. Or join mine as well. And there's just one thing left to do. Engine powering up. Ahead flank. Emergency speed 